When I was an undergraduate at Aberystwyth University, I lived with Jeff Thomas for a year in the manse on the third floor. Uh, it, was, it was unforgettable. And he decided one day, I hadn't been there more than a few weeks, he decided we should get up very early in the morning and read together some John Owen. And he decided we should read volume seven on the duty of being spiritually minded. So at 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, we would get up, have coffee, go to his study, and start reading aloud to each other, a page at a time. And I, <clears throat> and I would write notes in the margin uh, of my copy, which I s still have. This, at first, dense, <clears throat> somewhat difficult, prolix style of John Owen. Th then later, you know, I understood that John Owen, I thought, I think, thought in Latin. So when he writes, it comes out in a, in a Latin-esque kind of prose. I, I think that's the reason. You know, later I, I discovered volume six, the mortification of sin um, on temptation. Just incredibly challenging, uh, convicting mind-changing, but life-changing. Everyone who has read John Owen's Mortification of Sin has a John Owen Mortification of Sin moment that they remember in their lives, and it just hits you, the seriousness of dealing with sin, the desire that we should have to be as godly as we possibly can be, and that this was serious business. And then the, the reminder that this material was given to teenagers at Oxford University, not, not to adults, but to teenagers.